Wait, what? No way. Oh, goodness gracious, there's two robots now. Damn. Oh my gosh, I forgot to hit record. Oh my gosh. Oh god, that's embarrassing. Okay, well, I thought I was recording. I wasn't. I literally just went on a five-minute monologue solving the last little part of this map here. But uh, here, I'll, I'll kind of show you the robot in slow motion here. I, I did solve this puzzle, and I can't believe I didn't record it. Oh my gosh, I am so embarrassed. But I did end up solving this puzzle. Where I kept getting hung up was this bottle of this bottle right here. But you have to send your robot, or this filling station, you have to send your robot down here for the switchback to switch it back to go here. After that, it's... Uh, the rest of the map really didn't change much. So, as I was saying, I was kind of giving my opinions on the game. Uh... I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to wait here and, like, follow the robot around so you guys can kind of see what's going on here. But, uh, so the, the question I had for, like, the creators, if they're still watching the series at this point, is... Are there multiple ways... Is there multiple right answers to solve this map? Because I, I will admit, in between episodes, I kind of half-watched the... Their solution just to figure out that filling station here. I pretty much had the rest of this very solid. Um, I think after filling out the filling station, I just had this turn wrong, and I had this bounce back wrong. But outside of that, it was all pretty well solved. So my, my big question is, are there multiple ways to solve these puzzle maps? I'm sure on some of the smaller ones, there's just a single answer. But on these bigger ones, are there multiple solutions to solve it? I don't know. That's I don't know. I Maybe there is. Because if I remember correctly, what I came up with for a solution didn't look like what the creators had come up with for a solution. And there very well could be multiple ways. But I'm, I'm hoping that, you know, I can get that, that answered. I wish I could fast forward this. Come on, go faster! <laughs> oh, we're almost done here. So then it goes through here. And done. And then this pass play opened up. I didn't get too terribly far. It was just playing the puzzle over and over to try it to try and get it. So I'm actually a little bit later recording this episode, like Ooh, the door closed. I'm still like ahead. I've still got like a backfill of like one or two days. But this is just, like, later at night for me recording. It's almost 8 p.m. where I'm at, sitting here recording this. Wait, what? No way. Oh, goodness gracious, there's two robots now. Damn. Okay, so... So, how does this work? Hold on. What's go? What's going on here? So, do I have to use both robots? Ho! Oh! No, I don't use both robots. Oh, wait, no, I do use both robots. So this robot's kind of trapped here. Or is he? Oh, no, he's not. Check it. So wait, what do I do? Do I use both robots? Does this become a holding station? Wait, 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 wait. Does one robot pick up the... Does one robot pick up the cauldron? Wait, one robot picks up the cauldron, drops it off here, maybe? 
then the other robot does the crafting? Well, I'm going to hit play here. I just want to see what happens. I don't understand at all what's going on. Is it... I don't... I don't get it. I legitimately do not get it. How does this work? So clearly something's got to come over here. So there's two robots. But why? But why is there two robots? The robot has crashed. Do I need both robots? Do I do all the crafting with one robot while having the other robot avoid? Which one do I craft with? I must have to craft with both. But why? Okay, you know what? I'm... Goodness gracious, I'm going to think myself into oblivion. I really don't understand what to... Oh, I accidentally started the robot. I really don't understand what to do. Well, let's guess that's fine for right now until I figure out what the hell's going on. Okay, so... Two robots definitely complicates things. So, I guess... This looks like the only way to get the, to pick this up, I guess. Yeah, that would that's going to this is going to be the only way to pick something up, to pick up this cauldron. So why don't I take it from So if I come here, that's fine. That's I guess okay. I hit the button. Let's see what this does. Nope, I already messed up. Oh, I'm close again. Just not hit that bypass here real quick. So the robots always seem to be destined to be on a collision course with each other. Somehow. Maybe I can use that to my advantage. Okay. I legitimately do not know how to solve this. Unless...
that's how I keep the two robots separated. Do they need to be on the track? Do I need to use both, or do I just need to keep them away from each other? Okay. Hold on. Blue purple. Pick that up. This, this might just be a holding spot for the cauldrons. Wait a second. Do I... Wait a second. I don't know what the solution is. I am legitimately stumped. Push buttons, dual robots. You know what? Let me worry about this robot first. I want to get him to pick up the cauldron, I think. And I think I want to put it there. I want to drop the cauldron off there. So right now it diverts, well, it hits a button, so it diverts this way. I don't know, maybe that'll do it. I really don't know how to solve this. I think the cauldron thing's right, though. I stand by the cauldron thing being correct. So let's see here. What happens? Goes this way. Comes around here. Man, I really don't know. This one's actually... Sometimes you have an inkling of what to do. I don't in this instance. This thing's stuck here right now. And now this thing's just going in an infinite circle. Well, I definitely know I don't want it pointing that way. All right, hang on, let me... This needs to be less complicated. So I go in here, I hit the button, I flip the opposite direction. So I go that way. But I think because I hit a blue button somewhere along the lines, I flip. Yes, I hit a blue button up here. Which is fine if that bounces me back in. I think that's fine. It's fine for now. Oh, shit.
Don't want that to be the opposite way. And I think I want that to be going the opposite way too. I definitely want, okay, I think I need this to, I think I need that robot to pick up the cauldron. So what I'm doing here, I think is close to what needs to be the solution. Maybe flip that? No. I think that's what I need to do. not be one less yellow button hit I think I'll about do her I think do that I need one more button hit on that. Or do I? I really don't know. This might be another one that I just have to beat my head against a wall off screen for a while until I can kind of figure it out. Nice. So that's at least going the correct direction. I still need a button hit here for that to free up and go pick that up. So I think that's correct. So I really need this robot to get shoved down here, go down here one more time, and get bounced around and spit out. Or wait, maybe I never hit this button. Which means... Maybe do that? Yeah. Not quite. No, I think I do need to hit this button. To lock that robot in until I'm ready for it. So I think I basically need to trap this robot here until I'm ready for it with the pot, with the cauldron exchange. 
Or wait, where did I mess up now? Oh, I think I messed up here? Yeah, I messed up there. Now I get shoved in the almost the right direction here. I think that'll fix me. This is very weird. I hope that there's not too many more levels left with the dual robots. This is a lot to manage. Still not quite right. That I think might be right. Yeah, I think that's right. Unless... I got that robot trapped there. I really don't know. Okay. This has been kind of a, a whack, a really messed up episode. So I think I'm going to video render this thing. I'm going to video edit this thing down. There really wasn't much accomplished on this episode other than dual robot wielding nightmare here. I'm, I'm going to need to figure this one out off cam. So uh, when we come back next time, Hopefully I'll have this robot puzzle solved. I, I don't know. But uh, thank you all very much for your support on the channel. I definitely appreciate it. Uh, keep supporting small YouTube and things like that. Uh, until we see you next time, guys. Later.